Welcome in everybody. My name is Ben, the Rocky Top Picker. Welcome to Rocky Top Headquarters. It is Sunday evening about 8.30. We're going to talk about in this video what sold over the weekend. How was your sales this past weekend being the 15th, 16th, and 17th of September 2023? Mine little busy on Friday, Saturday sales fell to zip, and I got an offer late Saturday night that I accepted that kept me from going blank. And then Sunday, cha-ching, cha-ching, you hear it on the phone, don't you love that sound? And it happened about every hour or so I'd get a sale, so I got a good bulk of sales just this afternoon being Sunday. But with that, Let's jump right into first item sold. We have a 2008 South Park Comedy Central uh, plush stuffed nine inch doll with tags. The tag is a little bit bent. Got this at the 127 sale in a bulk deal. Uh, made a, I made a pile as they say. You make a pile and then you just negotiate a price uh, for the whole pile there. This sold for $14 plus shipping. We have a Hallmark Keepsake Ornament 2014 Squirrel. Now these come from my personal collection that I've had from over the years. Um, we put these on the Christmas tree over the years. I collected these because the Christ Christmas Vacation movie was is one of my favorite holiday movies. And when Hallmark brought these out each year, um, I made sure to pick these up. So I've had these in storage for a long time. Actually haven't put them on my tree in many a year. So I decided, hey, let's just get rid of them. This is an example of sell what you already have. If you're new to reselling and you're worried about sourcing inventory, sell what you have at your house or in your attic or in your storage building out back or wherever you store stuff, start there first sold for $47 plus shipping. Next, we got a hat going out of vintage Washington Redskins Reebok 70th anniversary strap back of the Redskins. You can see the graphic embroidered there and on the back as well. Got this hat with a bunch of others on a whatnot auction. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. I don't think I need to tell you what's next. That's right. Golf club head cover. This is a Callaway Golf Big Bertha Warbird Soul Plate Eli Wood. Never have understood why they put so many names on a club cover. Makes no sense to me. Anyway, took an offer on this for $10.65 plus shipping. Another hat going out. This is the Gas Monkey Garage fitted cap. And it's a small, medium size. Nice uh, lime green on the inside there. It's got the embroidered logo on the front. Gas Monkey on the back. This sold for $10.65 plus shipping. Sold another Iron Man birthday decoration kit. This was the, I had multiple, I think I had five of these. And this is the last one going out here. This sold for $5 plus shipping. Another club head cover right here that we sold. Taylor made R11 ASP Fairway head cover with a number three. And that's an interchangeable, you can change the number on the dial there, so whether you have a three, five, four, a seven, or an X, you can change this. And this sold for $9.83 plus shipping. Got a video, if you're new to the channel, I've got a video down in there somewhere where I bought a bulk buy of golf head club covers. And uh, I am well into the profit on these things. So even with these selling for a small amount, it's all pure profit from this point on. So not bad, 983 plus shipping. 
sold a video game video games have not been selling well for me through the summer i guess because a lot of people are spending time outside i think as the weather turns colder and the weather starts turning bad game sales will be picking up uh, however these things don't sell like they used to or, or they don't bring what they used to because the market is just saturated uh, this is set in my store for a long time and it's finally moved for $5.99 plus shipping. So today's subject, I wanted to talk to you guys about stress and anxiety when it comes to online reselling. If any of you have watched Kevin's videos, The Commonwealth Picker, and Josh Galt, where he does a live stream every day at 1 p.m. Eastern, Kevin has actually spoke to the general manager of eBay USA and I'm sure many of you all have seen this video uh, if you've not caught Josh's live stream from this past Friday that would be on September 15th uh, he's going to have a meeting with some real high eBay ups talking about seller concerns that we've all had especially us YouTube resellers where we've done shows talking about all the issues I don't like to be negative. I've not been negative too much on my channel here. But I here's the, here's the reality of this whole thing, in my opinion. We as sellers, you and I, we can only control what we can control. For instance, we can control when, where, and how we source our items. We can control what we buy, what we don't buy. We control when we list, how we list, how often do we list. Are your titles good? Are you being very descriptive? Are you filling in all your item specifics? Are you pricing correctly? Price too high, it's going to sit there and you're going to hear crickets. Price it too low, is it going to sell quick? Yes, it is, more than likely. It's going to sell quick if you price it low, but what is the object of the game? Move product. So you hear talk about ASP and you hear talk about ROI and the bottom line to me is simple, guys. We go out and we source items to flip for profit. Now for me, profit, if I'm doubling my money, if it's a dollar and I sell it for two, I've doubled my money at the very least. Now, I know we want to maximize our profits, but you don't want to sacrifice sales and volume just because you're not getting a good price. Um, but I didn't really want to go that deep into it, but worry about the things that you can control as an eBay seller that, and, and I can control. You know, focus in on getting good listings put into your platform there on eBay. Uh, take good photos answer these questions from buyers when they arise and, and as quickly as you can we can control those things what we cannot control necessarily is how often we hear that on our phone sure we'd like to constantly hear it in a perfect world it would be dinging all the bloody time every two seconds but that's not reality these days so let us just focus on the things that we can control ourselves and we just have to ride this ride and there's going to be bad days like for me I can't believe I went Saturday an entire day and much of Saturday night without a single sale I mean that's never happened to me and but here it is Sunday and the phone was dinging what seemed like every hour on the hour with a sale so hang in there guys everything is not always bad and not everything is as always as it seems and what we try to drum up into our minds for it to be we come up with all these conspiracy series uh series conspiracy theories as to why we're having these issues bottom line is we don't really have a clue and when you can come to an acceptance of that and you come to an understanding of that um it takes a lot of pressure off and I am very optimistic that we will be getting some answers to some of these questions that we posed here on YouTube as well as other channels have raised questions about all kinds of things 
having to do with the eBay platform. But bottom line is just hang in there and things always have a way of working themselves out if you're patient. And I try to remind myself of that every day. But let's get back to sales. All right, you can see how fancy my storage is. This is a figurine collection. These are a collection of Disney Infinity 3.0, a lot of 14 Star Wars figures. You know, that Infinity game. And I got a whole bag of them here. Like I said, there's 14. Pick these up at the 127 sale. And I also have another collection that is Disney characters and Marvel characters. And I think the lot number is about the same. But this sold... I took an offer for this for $25 plus shipping. And no, I'm not gonna ship them in a Walmart bag. <laughs> the next item, a buyer purchased um, multiple items and we put them all together so we could combine shipping to save money. And these are four muscle machines. They're kind of like a version of Hot Wheels, but made differently. These come from my personal collection that I've had for a long time. I actually have a lot of doubles of these. That's why I'm selling these. And I had them in two different listings, paired up just like that. And a buyer came along and bo 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 bought both. So we're shipping them all together. All together, this was $13 plus shipping. Next up, I picked up this at a yard sale for three bucks. This is a Lee Sport sack black floral crossbody bag and purse and it comes with this matching little cosmetic bag and this sold three dollars is what i got in it it sold for thirty dollars plus shipping that's a good deal got another head cover this is a ping g5 hybrid rescue head cover tag number 22 Got a message from a buyer who bought some of these previously previously from me. And he messaged me and said that, hey, I need the 22 now. And uh, I kind of had it pretty high because that's what the other ones were selling for. But because he had purchased from me previously at the asking prices, I sent him a lower offer on this one uh, to help him out because he had every number but the 22. And I wanted to give him a break, so I just priced this at five bucks plus shipping out the door, and he immediately took it. And I don't care to help out my repeating customers on prices if they reach out to me like he did. Be glad to do that in the future. Last up, of course, if you've watched my previous video, you know I did a Lionel train buy a weekend last weekend, not this weekend. Bought it all for 80 bucks. The two track sets I've already sold that was in my weekly what sold video has already put me into profit. This is a Lionel Trains CW80 80 watt transformer O gauge power supply. This sold for $49 plus shipping. Y'all would probably flip if you've seen how much death pile I have. Guys, I spent $3,000 on Scottish kilts, okay? I haven't listed the first kilt. I don't even know anything about kilts. Yes, three grand wrapped up in men's skirts. So it sounds silly, right? But go look up kilts. They sell for decent money and around two. sell it. if you list them though. We hope to see you right back here next Thursday as we come at you with another episode of the Resellers Locker Room. I also wanted to share this with you if you haven't learned already. The podcast that I am a part of with 540 Flips the beard king picker go check these guys out on youtube they all got youtube channels 540 flips the beard king picker and biscuit butt my man archie out there in the greater city of las vegas we are the resellers locker room on youtube just type in the resellers locker room we've got our episode one already uploaded and we uh, upload new episodes every Thursday. So be sure to go over there and check out that podcast. And at the very least, if you can't gain any knowledge, which we hope you do, you'll be entertained nonetheless. 
So go check out the reseller's locker room. Come and hang out with us over there. Leave a comment down below, and I'll put a link down below so you can click right to it. And we all appreciate it if you give us a view. And that is going to do it for what sold over the weekend on September 15, 16, 17. If you like this content and you're new to my channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe and smash that thumbs up button. If you want to do something to help the channel, just a thumbs up and leaving a comment helps. But I'd love a subscribe if you want to join the Rocky Top Nation right here on this channel. And uh, the Vols suffered a bad loss against the Gators. But the interesting thing when I watched that ball game at a friend's house is I actually tried Gator meat for the first time. And I must say, it's pretty daggone good. But I was the only one whipping a Gator yesterday since the Mighty Vols fell at Florida. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the content. Again, thanks to all my subscribers out there in Rocky Top Nation. And if you're brand new, make sure you hit that sub. And I cannot wait to see you right back here on good old Rocky Top. Here we go. You ready? Shoot! <laughs>